are still walking in here. There were up to 40,000 of our relatives in Washington, D.C. this morning. What do we say? We say no to the Keystone XL pipeline. Say it. No to Keystone XL. So my name is Penny Opal Plant. I was born and raised in Richmond, California. I'm of Yaki, Choctaw, Cherokee descent. And um, I first I want to thank our I Don't Know More drummers and singers and all of you for dancing. I want to thank our Ohlone singers for praying for us. I want to thank Lakota Hardin and Courtney Cummings who helped me organize our people to be here today. And I want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart for being here. So, I don't know more, I don't know if you've heard about it, but it's an indigenous revolution, but it's for everybody, because we're all indigenous to this mother upon whose belly we stand. It was started by four women, three First Nations women, and one woman of European descent up in Canada, because the laws are decimating Mother Earth and treaty rights up there. Okay. And, um... So they started a social media revolution, just like many of the other revolutions that we've seen happen here during the last year and a half. And these women started a non-violent, powerful revolution for Mother Earth. I was in Washington, D.C. in 2011 at both of the big No Keystone XL demonstrations there, and I had an opportunity to talk to two very powerful Native women. Tantu Cardinal, who's Métis, First Nations from Canada, who is an actress and a very powerful activist. She sent this message for me to read to you today. Fossil fuels are a dead end street. Where are the ideas and determination for a brilliant society? We are a lemur society heading for the cliff of depleted water supply and the ferocity of the cleansing storms of climate change. The other woman that I met who's very dear to my heart is Deborah Whiteplume from the Lakota Nation. Deborah and her allies blockaded the Trans-Canada trucks as they were on their way through their reservation. They were on their way through their reservation, sneaking through native lands in order to build the bottom part of the Keystone XL. Boo on that! Boo! And this is her message to you today. Our commitment to Mother Earth and sacred water goes beyond the timeline of elected politicians' terms of office. It goes beyond the corporate annual profit margin. Our commitment to preserving Mother Earth and sacred water goes beyond our own lifespan. It goes beyond the coming seven generations. Our commitment is complete and based on love for Mother Earth and the sacred gift of life and water. Inside this great love, there can be no compromise to stopping the case. KXL pipeline and is shutting down the tar sands. These two energy projects represent weapons of mass destruction that can impact all of life for the coming 10,000 years. It's time to end the fossil fuel and nuclear industry and move to renewables, for there may still be time. Now that will be a wonderful revolution we can all get behind. A green revolution based on love and respect. In life. If we are in this green revolution together, who can stop us? So we must all do everything that we can. Educate our friends and relatives. Go to every single action that we can. Write, call, stomp on mother and ask her for her help. Because if Obama agrees to this pipeline, I expect to see all of you on the front lines blockading that pipeline because I'll be there. We are all idle no more. Idle no more. Thank you, Penny, for those wonderful remarks. So I just want to have a couple of announcements.